Hey guys, it's Rich with your Monday Spot on the Pagan Perspective. This week we're talking about special recipes. I'm going to try to keep this kind of short and sweet. Uh, right now I'm at work and even though it's towards the end of the day, whenever it's usually a little bit more dead, I do have uh, the business across the street from us has had a fire. So I have the doors open for the fire department uh, individuals coming and going. So hopefully I can make a video without getting interrupted. Uh, so if you see me looking this way, that's what it is. I'm just making sure people aren't going to be coming in and out during the video. So this week we're talking about special recipes. This is a team member topic. And it says, we've talked about the wheel of the year and how we choose which holidays to acknowledge. One thing that commonly goes along with the Sabbath associations and most other holidays and special occasions is food. Do you have a any favorite recipes for Sabbaths, seasons, or any other special occasion? Do you have any traditions that center on food? As far as traditions itself, I don't have any traditions that are specifically food-based. Um, I do have some certain recipes that I will make from time to time, uh, <clears throat> primarily for holidays and potlucks and get-togethers and whatnot. One thing that I is my go-to is actually a family recipe of macaroni and cheese. It's a baked dish and it's pretty simple to make. I'm not a big cook. Uh, I'm not really a baker. So whenever it comes to making anything, I try to keep it as simple and, you know, concise on everything as possible. Because if it gets to the point where I'm doing something intricate and I mess it up, which is prone to happen, then yeah, I, I get upset and have to go out for more ingredients because I will only buy what I need for that recipe at that time. So the mac and cheese, fairly simple, fairly easy. Uh, family recipe, my great grandmother made it. Uh, my grandmother makes it. My aunts and uncles make it. So something that is still carried on as a tradition in, a, in our family. Uh, this is on my father's side of the family and something that I still enjoy making and eating to this day. So I will make that for get togethers. Uh, another one is, uh, the rest are not family recipes, but another one that I do like to make is a dump cake. If I am going to a potluck type of situation where I am bringing a dessert, I don't like to buy pie or cake or muffins or you know cupcakes or anything like that at a supermarket because why do that whenever you can have a really you know scrumptious type of cake to eat that is actually baked and so what i will make is a dump cake you can find the recipe online fairly uh easily uh pineapple dump cake if you like pineapple if you like cake this is it so i will make that because it takes like a whole like 10 minutes to maybe maybe if that to put everything together and then it i think takes like 20 minutes to actually bake it so i mean like half an hour out of my life in order to take it to a a potluck or something like that yes please and it is delicious so pineapple dump cake uh, i believe there's other versions of dump cake too um and it's named that because you literally dump all the ingredients and bake it and go. So that one I like to make. Um, there's another one I was thinking. Of. Oh, um, Middle Eastern flatbread, Syrian flatbread. I do enjoy making that. I, yeah, I have a creepy voice going on in the background. Um, again, at work. So the flatbread that you see in Middle Eastern restaurants and whatnot, it's called non bread n a a n you can find the recipes online kind of involving you know involved in um whenever you're talking about making it from scratch which i like to do um but again worth the effort with that it's doesn't take a lot of ingredients it's fairly simple it just takes a little bit more time to do it um so I do like to make that. And along with that, I also make hummus, uh, the traditional style hummus, the garlic hummus. But I do make that. And again, delicious, easy little uh, treat to have for yourself 
or for a <clears throat> a gathering, you know, you make a uh, you get a thing of garbanzo beans and basically you put those through through the blender. Again, you can find these recipes online. Fairly simple. Um, and a little tzatziki sauce and, or tahini sauce, not tzatziki sauce. Tahini sauce in there uh, or, yeah. Anyway, you put a little bit of that in there, blend it up. You're pretty much good. A little olive oil, a little, uh, little lemon juice, just a little bit. And, uh, and some garlic and you have your hummus. Maybe I'll make a video on how to make hummus one day. But you do that, you do the non bread, you have those together for a gathering and you feed a lot of people. So, and it's a nice little thing to just dip and, you know, carry around with you. So, something fun to eat, something uh somewhat simple to make on that one. Uh if you're looking for a really really simple one, again, the dump cake Fantastic, easy to make, easy to pretty much clean up because you just, you know, clean the pan because everybody will eat that. Um, but yeah, that's all that I have really for recipes as far as food recipes. Um, maybe I'll suggest that we do a topic on recipes for incense and brews and whatnot. Hmm, I don't know if that's one of the topics coming up, but maybe I might make that suggestion. Anyway, until next week, I think we're on next week. Uh, until next time, if we are not on next week, I'm pretty sure we are. Until next time, may you have love, hugs, and ladybugs. Bye-bye.